only you may not know anybody and that's very intimidating. Yeah, um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> about things that's been bothering you, particularly dealing with friendships, right? And I just wanted to address that, and I also wanted to go deeper into it. I took a poll on my Instagram, and I asked y'all, are y'all struggling with friendships and stuff like that? And I got your feedback for that, and I just want to address it all here. So I hope you're excited. Stay tuned, we're gonna get right into it. Yeah. So making friends in college can be very, very intimidating, and that's not a surprise because you don't know these people. When you were in high school, you were used to being around your group of people that you hung around with every time, and you you were cool. But when you get to college, especially if you're coming like from out of state, you probably you may not know anybody, and that's very intimidating. You might have been so used to your group of friends, you kind of forgot how to make new friends. Something else that y'all voice through the polls and through comments is that y'all are sometimes really shy, a little introverted when it comes to meeting people, and that's okay because everybody starts off shy sometimes. That's just how it is. Hey, I like your look sack. Are you uh, in Southeastern? Yeah, um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> okay, kind of weird. <laughs> All right. Don't do that. You're going to look weird. <laughs> like, <coughs> Don't do that. You're gonna look weird and awkward. Like it's okay to be shy, but don't do it in an awkward way. It's okay to reach out and meet new people. My advice is to sometimes step out of your comfort zone. Oh hey, my name is Autumn. I'm, I'm new. I was just wondering if you wanna go to the new. Hey girl, I like your book sack. Are you from the Southeastern? Oh yeah, thank you by the way. Um, I am from the Southeastern. Okay, you seem like really cool people. You seem like really cool people. Well thank you, you know. I'm gonna have a YouTube channel. You should, you should subscribe to it for me if you really want to see how cool I am, you should, you should subscribe to it if you really want to see how cool I am. You need to be. Um, don't be afraid to be that person to step out and be like, hey, how are you doing? My name is such and such, right? Uh, what I did, I DM'd a bunch of people on social media who had like the SELU class 24 in their bio, you know. Honestly, that's, that's what kind of helped me. And once I started doing that, I got invited to a group chat. Um, I started meeting a whole bunch of amazing people and it was just, it just grew from there. Start reaching out to people on social media. Um, just get to know them, get into group chats, and that's really how you begin to build friendships before you get to college. I don't know what school you go to. I know Southeastern. We had a SELU 24 Facebook group participate in that. This is something you should be doing in the summertime. This is where you get to meet new people. This is where you get to um, express your interests and find people who like things about you. Once you get in these groups, um, a lot of times through social media or Facebook group or whatever, they tend to make like separate iMessage groups just between the students. So that's kind of what happened to me. I got into some iMessage groups and I met a whole bunch of cool people and we just started talking throughout the whole summer. First week of school, playing like a little meetup where y'all hang out. My first week, we planned a little picnic <laughs> and we uh, got pizza, we sat outside the union. I'll put the video right here. Uh, but we just hung out and just got to know each other better. And it was fun. I will say this though, these group chats don't always stay together, so keep that in mind. There's nothing wrong with people splitting apart because all relationships aren't meant to last for a lifetime. It's okay if it starts breaking up, just make sure that you find the people that you really connect with and that you really want close to so let's say you didn't do that in the summer let's say you didn't get to talk to nobody and meet anybody and you're completely new on campus that's also okay if you didn't meet anybody during the summer the the best way to really get to know people or to meet new people is through student organizations i can't stress that enough so i joined project pool i joined the black student union and through those two organizations i met so many amazing, cool people. And the best part about it is that when you meet people through these organizations, you're finding people who have the same interests as you. So that's really another great way to make friends on campus. So if you were too shy 
to do it during the summer, I encourage you to join some kind of student organization. And they're fun. Like, I enjoy Project Pool and I enjoy the Black Student Union. I'm actually a part of the e-board now of the Black Student Union because I enjoyed it so much. And whatever you want to do, um, whatever you're interested in, look into it. We have plenty, plenty of organizations that you could join. But that's really it for my tips about making friends in college. If you made it this far, comment down below if this video helped you out. Um, if you still have any concerns, just comment down below and I'll try to answer it the best way I can. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you are new, make sure you subscribe. And if you are already subscribed, make sure you hit that bell icon because the bell icon lets you know every time your girl posts. So make sure you hit that bell icon. I hope y'all have an amazing day. I wish y'all luck on y'all new college experience, journey, all that. Um, but yeah, bye.